All right, all right. Hey, Paul. Good morning. How's it going? So, tough warm up number 110 today. What to do? What to do? Good morning, Captain Jetlag, Zetra Book, Svensson, Chris Nigard, all the lovely rock stars, <clears throat> and Mila. Good morning. Opil Opilonic as well. Kilrathi. Oh, yeah. so many cool people. Okay, topic number one creature shoe cobbler. That's a cool topic. Please be number one. Um, sewer lurker. Cool. Naked clone on dying spaceship. <laughs> Alright, that's number three. Art Seacoast. Good morning. So we have top three topics. Three more. Hey, Mick Fury, you seem new. I don't recognize your name. Ah, coffee. Coffee monster, number four. Perfect. Three musketeers. Five. Please don't be three musketeers. <laughs> I have a hard time drawing one character, and I have to draw three. Black hole creature, number six. Okay, thank you, Spam. Not number five. Not number five. Number five! <laughs> oh. Oh, Chris Newgard. Hey, good morning. It's great that you have have you here, uh, Mick Fury. But I'm not happy today. Because now I have to draw three characters. Oh. Yeah, I know, Art Seacoast. I shouldn't have said, please don't be number five. Because, of course, number five. Hey, good morning, Jordy. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Three Musketeers. <clears throat> This is gonna be... Alright, okay, I got an idea. Alright, okay, I got an idea. Hopefully it's a doable... Doable idea, right? I'm seeing, like, three... Um, three kind of goblin-like creatures. And they're kind of fighting each other. But with huge eyes. They're not going to be uh, really um, goblins, but creatures, I guess. So that's the idea. That's what I'm going to do for Three Musketeers. <laughs> three Musketeer. Hey, Ollie Crawford. Nice. You're just a little bit too late. But cool that you could come. I saw that uh, you were enticed by the uh, possibilities of uh, um, making up topic, contributing to the topic or whatever. That's cool. They should all be like, uh, I think, um, assassins. Because they're... Uh, uh, what are they? Um, musketeers. They were soldiers of some sort, right? A musketeer. Hey, Hong 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 Boy. Yeah, you missed it. Um, hey, M G M Grilly. <laughs> you knew. All right, let's do this. Let's. Let's uh, time is on. Good. I'm 
I'm seeing them like small, dirty, crazy things, like all ragged. Kind of stocky. We'll see what, it, what comes out. How was everyone's yesterday? All right, laughing skull, but that's cool. Hey, Robert, Roberto Gatto, you're new. Alex Tilica, Andy Nolan, awesome. So many cool people today. A lot of uh, first timers, which is great. Pressure is on to do something fun. Oh no. Uh, so my project that I'm doing um, um, for you people that um, the movie project I'm um, it was shown to uh, the guy that directed um, Die Hard 2 Rennie Harlan and um, it's not every day like a massive uh, Hollywood producer or a director rather uh, looks at your art but uh, he liked it which is really cool same for another um, <clears throat> another project I was involved with which was um, shown to the main guy at wet the workshop and he also liked my art which is cool but that was a while back but uh, it's still fun you know it's not every day those kind of <clears throat> iconic people like that uh, you uh, that you have a communication It's fun. It's fun when um, <clears throat> when you do a project for such a not a long time, but um, a big project, and um, you um, you don't see any reward for it. Hey, good morning, Jesus at the mighty. <laughs> You're alive. Amazing. I I did not go to THU. No. Um, I am. Um, I have two kids and um, not a lot of money to spend on trips and stuff like that. And um, if I go to like THU, I have to be invited and um, sponsored, so to, so to say, you know, like uh, paid for. And that's the only way I can um, manage these trips to to go and um, and teach. So when I like, I need to be a lecturer in order to contribute to it, right? Like all the workshops so far I've attended, uh, I've been an um, instructor at, which is you know great for me and great for the people attending. <coughs> uh, but unfortunately, I can't afford to just go for fun. You know, it's a bit it's a bit sad, but what can you do? Besides, um, I did, I wouldn't feel cool with it with my wife, like, you know, just paying it for myself and going on a, <laughs> like a vacation on my own. <clears throat> it wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be fair. But as it's kind of work, in that sense, um, it doesn't feel as bad going and leaving my wife with their kids. <laughs> but I think the next, um, IFCC, um, which I've already been invited to and um, booked for, um, is um, my wife is going to come with me. 
first time. It's going to be great. She used to be a um, concept artist as well. Uh, but she, uh, when she got pregnant with both kids, she had to um, stop drawing altogether because she just had a hard time focusing with the pregnancy. So unfortunately, her uh, <coughs> her um, what's it called uh, freelance career ended uh, as fast as it started. I gave her all my um, all my contracts when I got the full time employed by Sega, so she got like NC Soft and all these big uh, clients dumped in her lap. She completed the contracts, but yeah. Uh, good morning, Anna the Newt. You're new. Ah, uh, Golden Tigers. Or else you'll miss out, Golden Tigers. That's that's the, that's the re that's the only reason. Or else you won't be there. You know. Stop reading text so much. By the way, uh, making at my name makes it really easy for me to spot if someone is writing. Um, so if you have a question or anything, uh, write like at my my nick Bjorn Hurry nickname, and I will be able to see it in super easy. Um, otherwise, I'm I have to kind of search through the the wall of text and. Um, I'll miss something. Another newt, and it's a brush from uh, Aaron Griffin um, that I found. I like the kind of the shitty quality of it. I've used it a couple of times. I mostly use it for for uh, for painting. Um, it has a nice kind of when you when you define form with it, it has this nice edge to it, and uh, I like it um, when painting, like uh, setting a foundation for a painting. You can get um, forms really nicely. So I, I just been experimenting with line art. And I'm kind of enjoying the the experiment. This guy he should have a like a a sad comb over. Or maybe a cute comb over. Maybe. It's not that sad. Maybe he's a cool guy. Hey, Jordy. That exactly the way Captain Jetlag. It's working perfectly for me. Um, Art Coast. Yeah, it's it. It he became very golem like. Yeah. Um, So that's uh, please make an uh, at sign and my nickname um, if you want to make me see it because I see it really easy with black, um, and it's it's quite easy to do as well because you just write at and b and then you press tab, and you should um, get the the name uh, out to out to filled in, you know, like so you don't need to type out my whole nickname. Uh, Anna, yeah, uh, Aaron Griffin, uh, he released a brush pack, so it should be, it should be on internet. He has also like a rake type brush, 
like this one. That's really nice as well to use uh, for painting. Uh, I want to do my own as well, uh, but I just haven't had time. I usually do it once a year, um, I, and um, that's around Christmas. So like I, I play around, I, I update my brushes once a year. Robert Roberto. Oh right, yeah, uh, Roberto. It's a it's a really good trick um, to establish a palette. Um, you can uh, use it for a lot of things, but yeah, it's um, it's a good one. I, I like this ball shape here. Let's give him like a. Some hair. Halfway. <clears throat> I so would like to be further along. Too much talking. That's the problem. You guys are too much fun to, to, to read what you are writing. <clears throat> Let's speed it up a bit. I don't like the, the happiness of this guy. Let's make it the black. Shifty. Should I steal whose? Oh, you mean while I'm doing the face? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to engage the muscles. Chris, I'm not happy with you. Why are you making me draw three characters in one drawing for 30 minutes? I don't like you. <laughs> you are not making it easy for me. Ah. But it's all good. Just, just kidding, of course. Okay, I think a lot of things will make sense. Um, when I add a block in. So I have to keep that in mind of not making everything super understandable yet. <coughs> Svensson, uh, no, why? Why are you giving people such stupid ideas? That's that's not the good idea. Don't don't suggest Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm not even ha having time to drink my morning coffee. You guys are just giving me like a cold shower <laughs> in the morning. Oh, like I have to shape up. Okay, time to up the speed of it. Let's um, they should have um, like glowing eyes as well. I think 
when I'm gonna be coloring it in. This guy can have warts. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, Chris Nigard is all good. I'm just kidding around a little bit. A golden shower, Jordy. Wait, 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 wait a minute. That's that's uh, that's something completely different. And I would not like a golden shower. Thank you. Time. 12 minutes left. What the? All right. I thought I had like three minutes left. Okay. But I can't slow down. Captain Jetlag, don't, it's nothing you should know about, and especially don't Google it. Sense of, that's, it's a sign. It's a sign from above. The thing is, it's like Fight Club. If you don't know what a golden shower is, you don't need to know what the golden shower is. Just don't go there. It's something in in regards of of a sexual service. The rest you maybe can figure out. I don't know what the blue waffle is, but I'm going to apply the same rule um, as I just talked about, that if I don't know what a blue waffle is, I probably shouldn't know. So I'm uh, I'm, I'm cool with that. I, I'm not going to Google blue waffle. I can only, only imagine, actually I can't imagine what the blue waffle is, and I don't want to know, I think. I won't do it. I mean, uh, I can promise you that I, I will never Google that. I, I'll, I'm, I'll happily spend the rest of my existence not knowing what a blue waffle is.
Oh no, Captain Jetlag, don't, 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 don't. Let's let's change uh, let's change the topic. Let's not go like in the 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 crazy um, deviance um, things. We don't need to to spoil that. So I read in the news um, if anyone is uh, playing uh, Destiny. I read that in in the news that uh, Destiny Two is PC. Well, that's kind of interesting. I wonder what they they have in in uh, like planned for for that. I think that could be kind of cool. Play Destiny on PC. Hey, thanks, John Silva. Good morning. Thanks for coming. Yeah, Svensson, I think they. I think it's a smart move to go to PC as well uh, for Destiny. So Destiny Two on PC. That's that's a pretty cool thing. But the problem is, is I hope that they figure out a way to make great uh, gunplay like they have managed to do on the consoles because they've made, made it really really fun to play and uh, the way it, it feels to move the character around and shoot the guns and so on it's like really really entertaining and I'm hoping that um, um, they manage to pull through as well um, on PC Five minutes left. Um, I gotta add the block in before time runs out. I think they've, they've they crafted a really cool world. It's very unique. Really good ideas. I think the writers, um, as far as I know, the writers had to cut a lot of content because of um, like um, internal conflicts. Uh, people. Uh, Leaving and taking um, taking the rights to the story and so on with them, or to the ideas. There was some sort of um, some sort of uh, conflict in the studio, and people left, and they had to change up huge amount of things for Destiny. That's why um, it was uh, delayed. If I'm not mistaken, it got pushed back, and they had to like uh, scramble and try to save whatever content that was left uh, and make it into a sellable product. As far as I know, but I I don't I haven't done any business with Bungie. Uh, the Destiny people. Um, so I don't know the the deal yo.
Star Citizen will be cool. Will definitely be cool. If they manage to pull it off. How much time left? Two minutes, okay. Oh, Dennis, where's passenger? Hey, I didn't see you there, Dennis. Good morning. Um, Star Citizen is really weird uh, marketing and uh, also what is Star Citizen as a game is it even you know is, is it even doable it's a really weird concept like they have so many instances that's already like bazillion gigabyte of install and um, like, how big will, will the biggest, like the complete game be if, if they want to plan to do all of it? Is it going to be like cloud-based? You don't actually install a game? You know, like what's the, what's the idea there? Uh, it's really weird. I don't, I don't know how they'll, how they'll solve that. Time's up. That's it for today. So this, these are the three musketeers. Um, I hope you dig it. Uh, this is definitely an interesting challenge. Um, 
thanks for that, Chris Nigord. Not really. I don't really like it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's, it was a good one. It was interesting yeah, to have to make. Um, so thank you all for coming. Uh, have a great day. Have a great night. Good night. Uh, and uh, see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> Don't snow white and the seven dwarfs. No. No. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.